This is the best day of my life. This is like the best ever. Shut the fuck up. Okay, that phrase is probably one of the most overused phrases in the world today. And it's used more than anybody than sports figures. Players, coaches, even commentators. You know, they use it time and time again. Use it all the time. And let me paint a little picture of what I'm talking about. Over the weekend, you know, the NCAA tournament's going on in March Madness. And Louisville and Florida are playing. And Louisville comes back in dramatic fashion, and they end up winning the game, advancing to the Final Four. And their coach, Coach Rick Pitino, has a post-game interview with CBS. And he announces to the world in front of millions of people, in front of all of his fans and all that other crap, if he have, even has any fans. I mean, this is the same guy who... Uh, after a win, goes to a restaurant uh, and takes some random ass waitress into the bathroom and banes her. You know, kiss, commits adultery on his wife and cheats on his wife and everything like that. And it's the same guy who says that, you know, he's a uh, religious man, that he loves God and he practices being a Christian or Catholic or whatever the fuck he is. But he announces that this is the greatest day of his life. And it's really annoying. You know, at least the scumbag had a decency to say, other than his kids being born, that this was the greatest day of his life. But see, this is the one time that really pisses me off the most. Okay, this guy is married. You know, his wife had the decency to act actually forgive him of his wrongdoings and actually take his stupid ass back after uh, he embarrassed her and his family. So this guy announces to the world that this is the best day of his life. Now this is a guy who has plenty of other accomplishments in sports, in basketball. You know, this is a guy who pretty much took the Kentucky program from the ashes and brought it back up to a national power. You know, he won a national championship with them. You know, he went to the NBA. He coached in the NBA for a while. But he announced that Taking the team to the Final Four was a great, or was the best day of his life. You know, there's other players and coaches who don't even bother saying or even talking about when they do have kids or they are married, but they still announce that this is the best day of their life. You know, how insulting, how how embarrassing is it for their wife, their girlfriend, their kids that this scumbag or insert scumbag's name? decides to say this is the best day of his life and it's basically it's hypocrisy I mean we're all guilty of it I mean I've said it plenty of times I mean I can give you an example right now of a time that I said it where I just got hammered um, this is like a few years back back in my party days and I was talking to one of my best friends in an after hours party being fucked up on unknown substances and talking about like the good old days. During the time that we were partying was great times. And prior to that, you know, I partied in, in spurts. Sometimes I partied for like eight or nine months straight and then I would take like three or four months off and then I would start partying again. So there was di two different, I guess you can say, eras in the times that I was partying. And we were comparing both times. And of course his girlfriend was sitting there and my girlfriend was sitting there at the time. And I don't even remember it. <laughs> But I told my girlfriend at the time that partying with her and the times that we shared and everything like that th during this time of partying was the best times ever. <laughs> and of course me and my best friend are sitting there talking about and we're comparing areas and we came to the conclusion that the era before our girlfriends was the best ever. <laughs> and of course my girlfriend flipped off and flipped the lid and you know I pretty much got the silent treatment for about a week because I said that, because I was a hypocrite, because I wasn't thinking before I said something. Not knowing that three weeks prior I said something completely different. And see, this is the things that piss me off, especially about sports figures, players and coaches, rather, you know, thinking before they speak. You know, you put a microphone, you put a camera in front of their face, I mean, they say some of the most outrageous, some of the most outlandish things that you can possibly think of. 
and they make themselves look like frickin' idiots. You know, they embarrass themselves time and time again, but they keep on doing it. And it's most notable with, this is the best day of my life. You know, it just pisses me off. You know, let me know what you guys think about it. I'm just kind of going on a rant here. It just kind of pisses me off after hearing something like that. But uh, on greater news, I guess you could say, um, I guess for COD players across the uh, world, this might be one of the best days of their life. <laughs> um, if you haven't heard the news, uh, Robert Trolling has resigned from Infinity Ward. Now this is probably news that we've been waiting to hear for years now. You know, how that guy didn't receive a pink slip after Modern Warfare 2 is beyond me. You know, he might be like uh, Matt Millen from the Detroit Lions when he was a GM. Somehow he convinced William Clay Ford to give him one more year that he can turn the Detroit Lions around. And all he did was make it actually worse. But he did give us Kelvin Johnson. That was about his only good uh, draft pick that he ever did. And that was basically like a no-brainer. But, you know, it's, it's great news. It's good news that Activision is actually caring and actually listening to the community and just basically saying, you know, they pretty much have to feel that the community is fed up completely with what's going on. And, you know, I'm sure Robert Trolling probably put put a stamp of approval saying that uh, you know Modern Warfare 3 will not be hacked and it'll be fine and you know of course all this other crap happened it's just kind of funny that uh, he basically you know got the axe well he resigned quote unquote but you know they pretty much said you better resign or we're gonna do a press release that we pretty much fired your ass so good news on that route um, going a little more of COD stuff I guess I have a little bit more time here that I can have. Um, it's probably pretty much like a hot topic, I guess, for anybody that plays COD and uh, trying to compare of like what you use as classes, what perks you use, and stuff. You know, when you play COD, and uh, you know, we've all had those bad days. We've all had those bad games where you start off like 0 4, 0 5, and it just seems like nothing's working. You know, what's your go-to class? What's your uh, class that you pretty much go for when if you try a new gun and you just start off bad and you just you know nothing's going right for you and you have your go-to class do you have more than one go-to class do you have just one that you can really depend on that you really feel comfortable with and you just go to it every single time out if you're having a tough time um, definitely my class that I have my go-to class that I even have it written down on my uh, custom classes as my go-to classes uh, pretty much at least recently um, starting off the game I never really used uh, the MP7 all that much I just started really basically using it um, a lot lately and it is kind of a cheese weapon but I love the fact that um, it kind of gave a rebirth even since Black Ops uh, they try to do a little bit of a rebirth of the SMG since in Modern Warfare 2 it was non-existent. I mean, in Modern Warfare 2 it was basically assault rifle, assault rifle, assault rifle, and then a bunch of quick scopers and stuff like that. And it was pretty much the death of the SMG. So I'm glad that Black Ops tried to bring it back, and I'm, try I'm glad, I guess, you know, Modern Warfare 3 that they're giving us more options as far as SMGs go. But my go-to class is basically the uh, MP7 silenced. I'm thinking about putting extended mags on there too, but uh, it's basically MP, MP7 silenced. Got the uh, sleight of hand, assassin pro, and stalker on there. And probably probably going to switch it over to like uh, dead silence at some point because uh, I'm thinking everybody has a freaking like astral uh, headphones these days or turtle beaches these days and stuff like that, but that's definitely my go-to class. And you know, as far as like kill streaks go, I try to keep them low just because of the fact I I pretty much play carelessly, and I pretty much just run around and try to be a uh, running gunner as much as possible because that's what's fun to me as far as this game goes. And uh, yeah, so tell me what your go-to class is. Tell me what your favorite class setup is. Maybe I can uh, learn something from some of you guys and uh, maybe try some different class setups and stuff like that to. Uh, I'll help me out with my game so let me know what your classes are and see you later Robert Trolling you piece of shit <laughs>